Okay, so I'm going to teach two things in this video. I'm going to teach uh, how to switch hands in a, in a single hand swing, and I'm also going to teach how to recover from the snatch. Okay, so the recovery for the snatch. So when we're doing the, the one arm swing, okay, what we're going to do to switch is we're going to replace our hand. So you're going to run your hand over the top of the other hand and switch. Okay. What you don't want to do is you don't want to kind of throw it out there and pull your hand away. You just want to slide over the top of your hand and grab. Over the top of your hand and grab. So it's actually very, a very, very easy switch. So you wait until the kettlebell is weightless. There's a certain point where we stop acceleration. The kettlebell becomes weightless. That's when you switch. You don't want to switch before it's weightless and still going up. You don't want to switch when it starts to come down or it pulls you forward. Okay. Now, as far as the snatch, <clears throat> the snatch works like this. We come up, right? Now, what I want to do is I've got the arm stacked, right, vertical to the ceiling, okay? And what, what I want to do is I want to roll the elbow forward and then roll back. The elbow rolls forward and then back. It's almost like you're going to be looking at the front of your forearm. You roll, okay? You roll and then it rolls back and back and through your legs. So it comes here. As it comes down, I rotate my hand again. So the palm's facing back. I drive back up, punch through. Uh, one more thing about this, the, this from the um, break from the snatch. If I come down and swing down, it's likely to do two things. Hurt your shoulder and kind of yank you forward, but when we break at the elbow and let it drop straight in front of us, then it doesn't throw you off balance and it also protects the shoulder. Because as we start to come down in an arc, as we go forward even just a little bit, it puts a lot of pressure on the anterior delt and it can cause some shoulder pain and discomfort. All right, see you next time.